Hello, um, if you've been following my videos on YouTube, you probably realise that I've got an interest in 3D photographs and uh, I've now started to try and make 3D video and I thought it might be helpful if uh, I give you a few pointers on how I'm going about it. Uh, there's lots on the web but uh, often it's easier if somebody shows you. Now the 3D we're talking about um, goes by various names, a stereograph you come across or a stereogram but basically in the old days they devised a system where you had two photographs side by side and um, you used to be able to get a viewer, a bit like the Viewmaster actually and you uh, looked through a special viewer and you could see it um, in 3D. Now I favour a method called free viewing which is uh, where you learn to look at the picture without any equipment. The reason for that is that you don't have to have the equipment and because the, the uh, image that you get, the final result, is just stunning, absolutely fantastic. It really brings a 2D photograph to life and you know people have said things like wow it feels as though you're actually there and uh, particularly with the video uh, instead of watching a 2D video it feels as though you're actually in the garden on my clips anyway you're actually there at the time when the action is taking place so uh, I prefer the free viewing method you've probably got a 3D DVD at home you know Shrek DVD or something like that where you put on coloured glasses red and green um, problem with that is you have to have the glasses and um, for me, the clarity, the sharpness disappears entirely and uh, the colour depth all disappears as well. The best systems I've personally seen have been the IMAX 3D and they use a pair of glasses but they're polarised glasses. The left eye, this one, the left eye sees uh, light that's in a vertical plane and the right eye sees light that's transmitted in a horizontal plane. So each eye gets a different view. Uh, works exceptionally well, but without all of that kit you can still make your own 3D photos. What am I talking about? I've got some here, look. That's not the best one to put up to start with, but basically if you can learn to view you can see the flower garden in 3D. Here are some photos of a harbour in Honfleur in France, and again when you learn the technique you can see into that harbour scene in 3D. Um, another scene there, all printed on, on my computer printer and I've even got this beauty, this is the Woodbridge uh, Tide Mill. Um, I had this mounted up so that I could put it on the wall in the lounge and look at it in 3D and truly you know it, it, it works very very well if you can learn the technique. So how do you go about doing it? Well, you need a camera. That's the starting point, isn't it? And it really is quite simple. Start with a little camera like this, absolutely fine. And all you do is you take two photographs. I take one in this position, and that'll be the equivalent of the left eye view. And then immediately afterwards, I move it about the distance of my eyes and take a second photograph focused on the same subject. So I get two photographs, one for the left eye, one for the right eye. I then bring those photos back to the computer, and here's the clever bit, you swap them over. The photograph that you took first for the left eye goes on the right, and the photograph that you took second, the right eye view, goes on the left. Now this is one of the areas that I'm quite passionate about at the moment. Um, the technique for viewing them is, is often called, and I've, I've called it this, cross-eyed viewing. And I think that puts a lot of people off looking at the pictures. So I'd prefer it to be renamed cross-viewing. What do you think? Maybe other 3D enthusiasts can get in touch. But if you call it cross-viewing, it might not people put, put people off so much. But the technique is quite quite straightforward really if you can look at your finger when it's in front of your nose like that then you can use this technique okay now look just an experiment 
I put my finger up to my nose, I'm looking at my finger, and suddenly, in the background, I've got two laptops. You try it. Look at your finger, and in the background, whatever object is there, you'll see it doubles up. Now, that's exactly the technique, and there's no more difficulty to it than that. So, with this, this is a good photo, perhaps. Okay, with this photo, what I would do is hold my finger here and look at my finger, and in the background, I either get two and two, hold it that way, two and two, but if I move my finger, I can bring those together so that in between that one and that one, I get a third image. So I'm looking at my finger now, and for this particular photograph, I would say that's where my finger is. That's perfect. Fantastic 3D view. Sunny day, clouds in the sky, shadows on the water. The water really comes to life. I can see my finger perfectly, one of the finger. And in the background, I've got three copies of the image. One to the left, one to the right, but the one in the middle is in fantastic 3D. And it's not at all uncomfortable because all you're doing is looking at this and your right eye is shooting past it to there, the left eye is shooting past it to there and your brain is bringing those two images together. People who get uncomfortable or get headaches are working too hard on it. Um, 